no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life no Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today I am going to be eating your fear foods for 24 hours. I asked everyone on Instagram what their fear foods were and Thank you so much for all responding with your fear food or your fear food that you used to have which isn't your fear food anymore that's awesome so today i'm going to just be going through some of your fear foods it's going to be great it's going to be an amazing day i used to have so many fear foods i literally used to be scared of every single food and i'm very happy to say that after after a long time of constantly trying and constantly doing the opposite and doing the thing that scares me the most those things become easier and the things that you found really scary become less and less scary until you're not scared of them anymore and it's great also some people have the same fear foods some people have different fear foods everyone's fear foods are individual and if one person's fear food isn't your fear food if it's your safe food if you've never ha had a problem with that food it doesn't make you any less valid it doesn't make your struggles any less real it's just everyone's different everyone's unique and that's amazing and yeah but there are some foods that everyone that a few people have similar fear foods and then some people it's individual and it doesn't matter no matter what you are valid i think it's ridiculous when people are like oh i don't deserve oh my gosh my lips look like i've put like lip liner on them it's just <laughs> they got a bit is it windburn i went for a walk yesterday and it was so cold and then my lips hurt and i think they're like wind burned or something frostbite wind bite i don't know anyway if you know you know but it looks like i've got lipstick on i don't know maybe that's a good thing anyway i can't remember what i was saying now oh yes yeah, so when i was ill i always used to think oh i'm not ill enough to get to help i'm not ill enough yet and then i your mind plays tricks on you and you think you're not ill anyway when really you are really ill and you're always deserving of help no matter what and it's just your eating disorder telling you you're not ill enough so yes also if you don't have many fear foods doesn't matter if you don't have any fear foods but you still struggle you're still just as valid as the person with thousands of fear foods so i just like making these videos do you like my new t-shirt sunshine on my mind i just like making these videos because hopefully it will help people and also it will show you that you can eat your fear foods and you can get better and there will be a point in your life where you won't be scared of food anymore and all of the hard work and all of the just never-ending battle is worth it so yeah also i like to do these videos because i like to do videos that i know would have helped me when i was really ill and this would have helped me a lot because I just wanted to see people. I never believed that you could truly recover or that it would ever get better. So I thought I just, I liked seeing people who had done really well in recovery or had a hard time, found it really hard and then recovered and then their life's much better, which is like what my life is like now. I'm so happy, but it's going to be hard, but it's definitely worth it. And yeah, I just, I would like, this would have helped me when I was a bit younger and yeah so that's why i wanted to do it i hope everyone's having a great day and if you're watching this video you need to eat fair food today at least one i used to i think that one of the best ways to recover is to always eat your fair foods like every day try and include it in every meal if you can but at least every day if if not every meal it's easy to include them in your all of your meals and then when you stop finding them so scary you'll just have like one fear food day because you won't actually have many fear foods anymore so yeah it's a win-win situation anyway grab a snack have a fear food today and i hope you like the video so many people said butter 
was a fair food. So I'm going to have that for breakfast. Also, loads of people said white bread. So I'm going to have some white bread, toasted with butter. And a few people said eggs, so I'm going to have an egg on it, on one slice, and then on the other slice, I'm going to have another fair food that came up a lot, Nutella and biscuit. Okay, we don't have any Nutella, so I'm going to have... <laughs> We don't have any Nutella left, so I'm going to have Biscoff and another fear food which people replied a lot with was peanut butter. So I'm going to have Biscoff and peanut butter on the other piece of toast. It's all fine, we'll get some Nutella. <laughs> Lots of people are scared of whole milk and this used to be me actually. In hospital they used to make coffees and I remember one time Mark, this really nice guy, put whole milk in my coffee and I was like no and I started freaking out and he was like oh it tastes better Alzani but I wasn't having any of it and now I make my porridge with whole milk, I put whole milk in my coffee, have it on cereal, whole milk's really nice and you shouldn't be scared of it. Also when you haven't eaten the right foods for so long you often get deficient in calcium and the vitamins and calcium in this it's very good. So, just face the fear straight away and have whole milk. I promise it tastes really nice. So, there we go. We need to go food shopping. Look how much butter we have left. <laughs> Who likes our butter dish? How old's this butter dish, Mum? They're old, very old. It's 70 years old, apparently. Whoa. That's older than Grandma. <laughs> the best peanut butter mammy life. We also have a deep roast one as well. Our family always has Nutella, so this is very rare that we don't have it, but it just, just goes to show that we eat a lot of Nutella because we always buy the kilo jar. Anyway. Buttery toast. Breakfast. And a coffee with whole milk. Look how cute this mug is. Butter toast is the best. Don't be scared of spreads. Peanut butter and biscoff and Nutella are all elite tier spreads. Still growing. Blade! Don't be scared. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, many people might even be scared to have breakfast. And just know that you shouldn't be scared of breakfast. Breakfast is the best. And you always deserve to eat. And you need to eat a lot to fuel your body. There was a time I wouldn't even have toast. I would never ever touch bread, let alone white bread. And now I have it every single day. And liquid calories would have been unheard of for me. I literally didn't have peanut butter for about six years. Crazy. It's so good. And the coffee was beautiful. I'm going to have another one. Amazing, toast is so good. Breakfast, a snack, midnight snack. You can just do anything with it. Also, all the video, all the videos? <laughs> what am I going on about? All of the foods that I eat today, I'm not just eating it for the video. I eat the foods all the time. And there was a point where I would not even imagine eating these foods and now I eat them all the time. Like, if you follow me on Instagram or you watch my vids, you know, scrambled egg Sunday. Have scrambled egg on toast a lot with butter. And I love Biscoff, Nutella, peanut butter. So it's a regular for me. I just wanted to say that because it's not just for the video. I allow myself these foods all the time. And you can too. I made myself another coffee with, oh, you can't see it, with whole milk. Oh, that was too hot. Comment down below, let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer these videos where I just film myself and I'm talking to you? Or do you prefer the voiceover videos because I've done a few of those? Just, yeah, I did, I've done a few of those because I thought they were cool and to mix it up a bit. But I don't know what everyone prefers. Do you prefer these or the voiceovers or do you like a mixture? Do you like long videos? Do you like short videos? Let me know. I'm going to drink this 
and order some clothes because I don't fit into any of my clothes anymore and that's a very good thing when I don't fit into my clothes anymore I buy some new clothes and it's so cool you should definitely celebrate growing out of your clothes perks of recovery new clothes and you know what I'm about to say no. and this top doesn't do it any favours okay 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 oh damn check it out when I say I used to have a pancake bar, that's no exaggeration. Like, not even the American pancakes. Our pancakes, like, crepe, crepe, crepe style pancakes. Com completely flat. And now look at me. Thank you, recovery. Thank you, eating fear foods. Hey, there's one for you. Lots of people said pastries were a big fear, so. We can have a croissant, a croissant. Pastry, Nutella and jam on a muffin. I didn't eat pastries for years and now I can eat them all the time. I remember watching Star and Alicia and everyone have croissants and pan au chocolat and loads of different pastries and I could not even imagine eating them. And now I can but that's only because I challenged pastries again and again and they're not scary if you're scared of pastries i challenge you to have one this week you can do it they're really good fluffy it's so fluffy i'm gonna die jam because it's very sugary sugar is nothing to be scared of and nutella is the best Being scared of food is irrational, but if you don't challenge it and prove to yourself that it's not scary, your brain's always going to think it's scary. Whereas if you prove to your brain that you can eat it and it actually isn't scary, the more you do it, the more your brain will realise, hey, that's just food. That's something we really like. That's just some Nutella. Yum. And it's awesome. When we wake and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Another food that came up a lot was apple So I'm going to have a pink lady apple, of course Lots of people said their fear foods were, were bagels Whack that down, but it's not So, it's not so I'm having a bagel with <laughs> oh. 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 what that down <laughs> I feel like you're talking to mum no so I'm having a bagel with a pizza bagel and so many people said that their fear food is cheese so I'm going to have cheese on top obviously and crisps came up a lot as well so I'm having some crisps next to it and some nuts because nuts are a fear food for a lot of people as well Sauces. One, two, and mozzarella. So cheesy. Lots of people said crisps, so I'm gonna have some of these. And nuts and chocolate and pretzels, so I'm having some of these. And some of these pretzels as well. Snacky things were a big response as well, so. And nuts in the Rudolph Munch. Yum. Cheese, bagel, chocolate, pretzels, nuts, chocolate covered nuts, more pretzels and crisps. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Cheesy. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright
hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Another fear food that a lot of people said was their fear food is cereal and granola so i'm going to have a bowl of cereal with granola mixed into it lots of different cereal i got replies for but mainly cheerios and cornflakes for some reason which i don't know why we don't actually have any cornflakes left we have lots of cheerios also cocoa pops came up a lot but we don't have any of those which is sad because I love Cocoa Pops. So I'm going to have a bowl of Cheerios mixed with granola and also loads of people said clusters, like crunchy nut clusters, are a huge fear. And we have Lidl version, which are actually so good. So I'm going to have some of these with the Cheerios and some granola and it's going to be lovely. Mm. Mm. Unmeasured cereal was another fear that came up a lot and I used to be so scared of not measuring my cereal out but now I do it all the time also I used to freak out about mixing different cereals and look at me now Jean Louis bye then. Christmas bedding Christmas bedding <laughs> <laughs> To the bottom of the steps. Oh, well, you know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in right. life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. This is gonna be your new fave cake. Oh, my. Love you. Now we lick the bowl, which would have been a fear of mine, and it's probably a fear for a lot of you. So, I love cake mixture. Mm. Woo! Ice cream is another big one and um, Ben and Jerry's ice cream came up a lot so let's have some Ben and Jerry's ice cream yeah. it's so good Yeah, the 
was another very big fair food for a lot of people and we always have winter wonderland at the moment thank you oh. <laughs> <laughs> so many people said that takeaways were a huge fair food and loads of people said chips or fries so we are having We've just been to get the takeaway chips and we've got battered chips as well, which is even better because they're super fried and battered, which is a massive fear. And they're cooked in oil and loads of people said oil was a fair food. So that's what dinner is with an egg. Yay! I remember when I had these like last year, I used to freak out about them. Here are the chips. Mm. Oh, they smell so good. Yeah. Well, it's not her. You leave it, the harder it gets. Thank you very much now, Clara. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, it does though, doesn't it? Look at that Nutella swirl. Oh, go on then. You, you can have first slice. Do I just stay okay from that? Yeah. YOLO. Well, do as much crispy. as you want. That's I think, crispy. I think it's going to be like a brownie in the middle because I put Nutella How in the middle. How big should I do it? As big as you want. Does it look good? Can I, can you get me a plate? <gasps> oh yes, it looks so good, Mum. Nancy did Oliver and she did a rendition of As Long As... Oh, that's so good. Can I have one of the chips? Love you. Look at that gorgeous blaze. What a gorgeous blaze you are. And there's our reindeers. And there's our doggy. The cutest little doggy in the whole wide world. Demolished. That was lovely. And also, full sugar, full fat, normal versions of fizzy drinks were a fear for a lot of people so I had some lemonade with that. Really nice. It's so good. Last December, is it? Merry Christmas. 24 days. It's Brady's birthday. And Christmas. Yeah, we'll have to have a cake. Maze is going to eat it for me. Yeah. Christmas time. It's the first of December.